Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into Skurin Station. It's time to cross the dark portal and enter one of the greatest World of Warcraft expansions of all time. In this video, I will show you first the talent build that you should use for leveling as a Feral Druid in WoW TBC. With this flexible leveling build, you will be able to get fast into dungeon groups as a tank and you will be able to DPS as a cat when you want to. After that, we'll go through combat rotation for DPSing and tanking. And, in the end, we'll have a look at the most important add-ons that you should use while you're leveling. Without further ado, let's start with the recommended Feral leveling build for the levels 60 to 70. At level 60, it is recommended that you start with 41 points in Feral and 10 in Restoration. Leveling will be quite fast as a Feral Druid and you won't have almost any downtime. As soon as you reach level 61, pick in the Restoration Tree, Omen of Clarity. This will occasionally give you free attacks or spells. Then put the next 3 points that you will get in Natural Shapeshifter. This will reduce by 30% the cost of all shapeshifting. With level 65, put 1 point into Feral Charge. The 4 second interrupt is quite useful in certain situations. At level 66, pick Survival of the Fittest. With level 67 and 68, train Shredding Attacks. This will reduce the energy cost of your Shred ability by 18 and the Rage cost of Lacerate by 2. Spend the last 2 points that you get at level 69 and 70 in Feral Instinct. Overall, this is a really good build that you can keep even in the endgame if you want to be flexible. I will be doing separate videos specifically focused on endgame tanking healing or DPSing for druids down the road, so be sure to check them out later. Now, let's proceed with the DPS combat rotation as a cat. First, use Prowl to sneak up the enemy, then use Pounce to start combat. If it's too dangerous to sneak up, use Fairy Fire to range pull. Overall, it is better to use Pounce though, so keep that in mind. Your combo point builder is Mangle. Just spam it until you have 4 or 5 combo points. When you have that, you have to make a decision. Either you can use Rip if the enemy will live through the whole bleed duration. If not, it is recommended to use Ferocious Bite. Most of the time, when you're leveling, you will be using only Pounce, Mangle and Ferocious Bite because the enemies will not live long enough. Let's have a look now at the single target combat rotation when you're tanking as a bear. First, you will use Fairy Fire to range pull. Be sure to use Demoralizing Roar and keep those two buffs on a target at all time. Afterwards, you will be spamming Mangle whenever possible. Keep five stacks of Lazarate on that single target. Be sure to use Maul if you are capped on rage and you can't use it on anything else. Now let's have a look at the AoE tanking rotation if you have 3 or more enemies. Keep Demoralizing Roar debuff at all times on the enemies. Use Fairy Fire on the main target and if you can, on others. Spam Swipe whenever possible. And use, again, Maul if you have excess rage. Never be rage capped. While tanking, it is very important that you manage the aggro. Use Growl to do that. In emergencies and oh shit scenarios, you can use your cooldown Challenging Roar to taunt several enemies. Your global cooldown Frenzied Regeneration can be used also in emergencies to heal yourself. This will convert Rage into Health. The other global cooldown that you have, called Barkskin, is only usable in specific scenarios. Keep in mind that in this iteration of the game, you can't cast Barkskin in bear form. Don't forget to keep your buffs, Mark of the Wild, Thorns and Omen of Clarity up at all time. Let's conclude the video with the most important add-ons that will help you while leveling and also can be used in the end game. First of all, use Questing. As the name already hints, this add-on will show you the available quest and practically guide you through the game. The best thing is that it will also display where to find the enemies and item locations on your map. Then you should of course use the damage meter add-on of your choice. I can currently recommend the details damage meter. Last but not least, if you will be tanking, also get the threat meter classic 2 add-on that will help you in managing the aggro of your party and is practically a requirement for tanking. 
So people, I hope you enjoyed this video and it will help you in leveling as fast as possible with your Feral Druid. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.